we got this new maintenance depot. Now this does some magical things. If I go to my depot here, let's just say for example our class V, let's just take the class V and press edit. And you can see here, if I go to my class V, I can actually tune the locomotive now, seeing as I've got one of these. So I can click on these and I can, I can, uh, I can change the stats, like I can tune them for different things. And you'll also notice that I got these two. I got these new locomotives as well. I got the six wheels and the one third. So that's good. And you'll also notice I went around the stations and added some nice little fountains, some bushes, some nice looking things, uh, just to make the place a little bit more grand. Oh, oh we just hit the new year. Okay, epic. Um, so we, we got some economical glorious, yeah, okay cool, some good stuff there, I, uh, I'm i pretty happy with that, that's that's okay, I'm, I'm really, to be honest, I don't really care about what we just got in the previous year, like just now, uh, but I do care about last year, we got a really important piece of kit, and I also added another one of these, you can see I have one more than last episode, in the previous episode I forgot to build another one despite us buying a new locomotive or well, I don't know was it a couple of episodes ago actually so that's really bad um, shouldn't have done that no bad but we got one at least we got a new one so that's great now today's episode I want to make some industry since we have our new trains there's actually a point now to run multiple so there's either one of two things I'm gonna do I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna do this one Actually, it could be one of three things. I This is the first one. I could change these trams to be a locomotive that goes from here to here to here, back to here, and then over, yeah, and then re repeat. I could do that, but as you can see, we're already massively overcrowded. So probably not on the cards. Maybe another video when we get another ship. The other option is to, oh, oh no, be four things. Never mind, four things. The second option is to go from here to here to here. Uh, or actually from here to here and then from here to here uh, for the steel mill which I don't really fancy doing considering I tried that out previously and that failed completely so maybe not do that and the other thing is the third thing is to build a track that circles around these silver mines big circle like that to drop the silver off not sure about that one it's a lot of track we need a good locomotive for that one to pull really quickly uh, and then the final option is probably the one I'm going to go for, is this farm here. There's two farms and they go to a livestock farm so we can feed the cows. So I'm probably going to do that one, but do we need a train for it or not? I would say not. We may not need a train here. Because if you look, it's not that far. If I just build a straight track, let's just grab 20... Oh, we're going to be using 40, aren't we? So... Let's just go from like here and just do a straight line. So that's like a million. And then if I go from like here over to... I know this is very rough of course. If I go to like here, that's, that's like two million. We can afford it. But do we need it? That's the thing. Do we need a track? That's a very good question. Alright, it's cattle. Cattle it is. So let's hook it up to the main line. In fact, we could probably get away with doing silver as well because the track's got to come up here anyway to get over here. So, okay, we'll do that. Let's begin our journey. Tracks. Uh, 40. Are we on 40 at the minute? This is 40 on main line, right? Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Let's let's do an upgrade. The new train, seen as I tuned it, because it's an express train, I tuned it for express. So it can actually go 51 now. And I want to change this to 50 miles an hour. I'm not going to go with 60. That's too much money for what it is. But let's just go with 50. It's not too much more money than what we've got at the minute for maintenance and it gets us a better speed encouraging more passengers okay so we're starting off over here we've got a nice straight bit of track and then that goes into a curve so we'll pull off a curve exact same on this side but let's try and get it nice and straight to about there excellent now you can see there's a great little split there it's going to go a little bit a uh, bit more shallow on the curve shallow is that the word you know what i mean anyway there we go, that's a good good little split. Great. And now we can bring our track around. We've got to bring our track out. Like that. Can we go nice and straight? We can. Is there any little dips in the terrain? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, we'll go with that. Build. Build this down to a little bit further forward, actually. So snap. And then bring this down to get rid of the horn sounds. 
and bring this down to about here-ish. And now, hopefully, we should be able to build a bridge. Now we select our bridge type first, don't we, of course. So we'll just go with wood. Is that top speed of 40? No, it's 90. That's fine. All right. And how are we going to do it? Let me just go higher. Let me... Yeah, a little bit higher. Okay, excellent. Great. All right, that's looking good. Try and... It's going to be a bit of a tight curve, this one, isn't it? But we're going to have to do it. So bring that over like... Oh, wow, that's really tight. A lot tighter than I would like, but is what it is, I suppose. One of those there. Bring that over here. Try and get it nice and straight. Yep. Okay. And then this guy goes to about there. And then this one goes down to floor level. Nice. Build it across here. Wow. Two million for that. And that's what I mean, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we don't like building bridges. Because that happens. We need one of these guys to go on here. But the thing is, how are we going to hook it up to the farm? Apparently that's hooking up. I'm not quite sure why it is, but it is. So I'm not complaining. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Tracks, 50. And then bring this into there. Now, how's that looking? Okay, 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 okay. We need a train now to turn around because it's going to be coming up here. So we need the train to flip around as soon as you leave. So let's get as close as we can. And then we're going to make a turn that goes like what, up here. Nice. Oh dear, we've run out of money. Oh wow. Yikers. There we go. And then we can hook them together so you can just spin right, right the way around and then come back along. Great, let's finish off our track here. It's a bit of a twisty and turny one, this route, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's it's always a pain setting a new lineup, isn't it? Because everything costs so much. Boom. There we go, look at that, lovely. Right, that track is now available for usage. Just have to chuck a couple of things on. So a waypoint goes down. So we're gonna go through here on the right, aren't we? Because we drive on the right. So track goes on, come on, flip around. There we go, thank you. Track goes up here and then around there and then to there. Lovely. Comes out this way over through here. All right. And then we're driving on the right again. So we'll go around there dropping off. Okay. That's fine by me. Waypoints. Oh, no. It's the wrong way. Come on, game. Flip. There we go. All right, then. New routes. New line from uh, farm first. So pick up at farm. Boom. All right. Elma. And then spinning around this way. Going up here, past the waypoint, and then into the farm, drop off, back over here, and back into the waypoint. Yes. Oh, not twice. Um, there we go. Yes. Done. Cool. Call this in wheat color. And what is this now? This is going to be uh, wheat, or just we, to cow. Let's get a good freight train here. So. Let's have a look at these. 22, 50, 22 is quite good. I, I would like like a 30 with a pretty good acceleration. And that one is about the same, just a slower top speed. So that one is the one I'm thinking about at the minute. Not sure though. And up here, let's see what we get for these guys. D one third. Let's have a look at these. 27, not really interested in that. 66, that's fast. Uh, 50, no, no. 16 tractive effort, it's pretty good, but not really too fast, and 12 for that one. So we won't be using that one. Let's check out our six wheelers. And, um, no, this guy I'm going to reserve for passenger actually, because this is the only train that can pull these guys. So it's going to be the class V. Let's get our uprated locomotive, so add, modify. Let's modify this again. We need some wheat carriers, and I believe these go in boxcars, if I'm not mistaken. They do. Uh, they seem to be very similar. What's the top speed of the train we just bought? I forget. Operated is 50. So what's the top speed of these guys? 46, right? 46 it is. One. Oops, I heard an animal. One. Let's just go with, say... Um... Let's go until we can get hit poor. So there we go, we'll go with how many that is. Mediocre power, modify. And chuck that onto wheat to cow. Here comes our class V locomotive. Finally being put onto the route. Although we have to be careful here because our train 
Uh, I need... Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until the train clears this block, and then we'll send the train off. Okay, here it comes. Out of the depot. Excellent. Here we have our train. 80 capacity in our box cars. Amazing. And it's going towards our wheat to cow route. Let's check it out. Going a shocking 46. I've never seen this train going this fast. It's very quick for this train. As soon as I say that, we drop down to 24, of course. Let's see what we're going to get here. We've got a lot of wheat. Wow, look at that. Overfilling. There's a lot of wheat over here. I am actually happy with something how it's gone. And if you like this sort of content, of course, press the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in episode number 10. Goodbye.